channel. Today I am going to be showing you painting this kind of art therapy session because I started out sketching this painting on the canvas without knowing where I was going at all and I didn't really film the starting part because I thought I would just scratch it up and not go with it but I ended up going with it and so that's why you didn't get the footage of me tracing out from uh, starting from an empty canvas. So I decided to do, to do and try something fun this time so I chose to start to paint the base colors using my bare fingers. Um, I think fingers can create a lot of interesting textures that paint brushes, brushes can never do and they can sometimes blend the paint together really well and in this case I am using acrylic paint so it's definitely harder than oil paint to blend things together so I think that helped me a lot. Um, really I didn't have a concept of this painting but what I was really feeling was some existential feelings so I kind of just uh, I wrote the letters I don't understand on the canvas which is sort of I guess you can say the title of this but really I if you ask me oh like what does this mean I am seriously not sure. I would like try to make it up on the point, but I am not sure what this means. It's kind of just relaxing process for me, so that's that. Here I am using some of my extra paint to paint the sides of the canvas. Um, it's one of the things I always do, except this time I'm using my fingers. It just uh, makes your like artwork looks more complete. And this is what I've done for the first day. It's kind of messy, but you're already feeling the kind of style already and I am really digging it. Also, please excuse the bad lighting because it's not sunny every day, it's winter. Um, I tried my best to kind of adjust the lighting a little bit so you can see clearer. And this is the second day of me working on it. Um, I don't work on it continuously just because I wanted to get some break in between. Because sometimes if you do it too intensely, you will mess things up very easily. And that's what I learned from my mistakes. <laughs> anyway, um, today I am kind of adding a lot more details. And as you can see, it actually changed a lot from the last pictures I show you because I didn't really film the part when I was like filling the colors in. Because first I was I didn't th I just didn't feel like it. So I just gave myself a break and paint without a camera shooting me. Um, but anyway, I am adding like outlines to some of the letters because I just think simply white can't make them stand out as much but I also didn't want to outline all of them so they stand out too strong comparing to the paintings um, and this is what I've got on the second day it already looks pretty complete and the colors are looking amazing but I just think there are a couple of details where I where I can perfect so that's what I did um, later on two days and this is I. This is what I've done for the second day, and I always shoot like a video of a close up, because the time lapse that I shoot with my cat uh, with my laptop, the quality is really bad. So I just wanted to give a close up with my phone, so you can see a bit clearer of what I exactly did on this day. Here is the third day of me working on it. It's this is a little bit of uh, my what my paint pot looks like. Um, I don't know why the camera is flashing, but it doesn't matter. Um, now I am trying to repaint some of the letters area because it was uh, the white does it's not really covering it like uh, fully, so I wanted to be a little more opaque. So I painted the letters one more time and. Um, I used white to outline some of the areas with rough edges and once again I used my fingers to draw some of the plants and this is what I've done the third day. It looks even more complete and here is a little close up of what I did today again. Hello, today I think is going to be the last day that I am going to be working on this painting. 
Um, so there are just a couple things that I want to finish up. Um, and the only two colors I got today are, wait, can't, this is a white and this is a yellow. And I think I'm going to be adding, like, strengthening up the white lines that I have and adding a couple of uh, white and yellow, like, dots all around the picture to add some texture and then I think I'll be done. So I'll be taking a video or a photo of the final product and putting it a little bit later on and yeah, hope you enjoy. Also, just for your information, when I am usually painting, um, since I record with my laptop, I usually also put on some like relaxing YouTube videos, like other people journaling and talking about things and sometimes they're pretty funny so whenever you see me smiling to the camera or looking at the screen it's because of the video that I'm watching. So um, I think I am completely done with this painting um, and here you go. I absolutely love the colors. It kind of started where I was just doodling on the canvas but I love everything that's going on here, even if it doesn't really make sense to me, but it's kind of like an art therapy session and everything turned out to be amazing. Um, now comes the most exciting part when you're finishing a painting, which is signing it. I usually do it in the front rather than uh, the back, just because it's my painting. I get to sign whatever I want. So yeah, let's get to that. So I am putting a little bit of, okay, it's not focusing. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow paint just on my tip brush and um, I'm just going to be signing it in the corner. I think here. Alright, let's see how this goes. That is my signature, it's uh, C-S-Y because in Chinese your name starts with your uh, last name and then it's your first name so then that's my initials in Chinese way um, and look how amazing that is. So I kind of, um, since it's not in like right in the corner, it's kind of in the middle, I thought it would be weird if I just put my name on it. So I kind of drew like a little hand that's putting the name out and yes, it has yellow nail polish. And it's final reveal time. I am so excited to show you. Um, I actually used an app that will I will link in the description um, if you want to use it because, because it frames um, your artwork automatically and you can choose different templates, but this is what the final artwork looks like. I am so happy and I think this is a perfect or decent way to end this year 2020 and a lot of things that happened makes me feel like the word that I wrote on the canvas I don't understand. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!